Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing some single girl aesthetic tips when it comes to apartment decor, as well as a bucket list that I personally have and that I think every single girl should do, as well as just the idea of romanticizing being single and embracing the season of being single and living alone. Truly enjoying the waiting process instead of like moping about or feeling sad or just like, you know, having that need to have somebody to fill whatever gap there is in your life. And I have been finding things to really fill me up and make me feel whole and make me feel excited and really, you know, take care of myself. One of the things that I was really excited about was creating a single girl aesthetic apartment. And I wanted to start off with my entryway section since this is the first thing that you see when you come into my apartment. So I am so excited that I was able to collaborate with Desenio. I love this brand so much and I have like an entire Pinterest board filled of Desenio prints and things that I wanted for my own apartment. So I selected four stunning prints. I will have all the details down below so you guys can go ahead and check those out if you like it as well. And I did four frames as well for them. So for my entryway table, I wanted to have like big girl art framed prints. So I did this one in Prairie Rose and then this other one which says Art of Life and I just love the aesthetic of it. I love what it says. It really makes me feel so happy every single time I look at it. So the prints that you get from Desenio are such good quality. I am in love with the frames and they have such a wide selection of frames that you can choose from but I just went ahead with the white frame since that is what really suits my apartment aesthetic, my single girl apartment vibe that I'm going for. I just love how the white frames made the prints pop out. I did a lot of neutrals but there was something about this one, Prairie Rose, that I absolutely loved. All the other prints I chose were really simple and minimalist and I cannot wait to hang those up. When I do over my couch section, I really want to create a gallery wall. It's just so many things that are so exciting to look forward to and, you know, having this space for me and, you know, having my own bachelorette pad with art that I love. It is something that has always been on my bucket list and this is something that you should definitely do as well if you are going through that period of singleness and if you have your own space. This is no better time to start creating a space that you truly, truly do love and enjoy and this has been such a fun process for me because every time I come in to my entryway now I am obsessed with how it looks. So I did this beautiful jaw with olive branches. I have my two framed prints and then I just have this riser with some of the natural boho wooden beads and a boozy vase because I think that that is just such a cute little thing to add. The best part about being single and living on your own and having your own place no one can tell you anything. You can literally do whatever you want. You can have whatever you want in your space. You can decorate it. You can paint walls however you want. You can literally live your life. That is where I'm at and that is where I hope I can inspire you to be if you are in this same season because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who is currently single and living alone. So Desenio has a lot of trendy, high quality Scandinavian prints and frames and they update their collection so much. They have something for everyone and every style. They ship to so many countries worldwide, including the US, and you can get those within four to seven days. What makes Desenio so unique is that it has its own in-house design team that works tirelessly to bring you unique and trendy designs that you can only find with them. I'm so in love with what I got. I really want to create another gallery wall, maybe with like a drinks section. I feel like if that might be really, really cute. So I do have a discount code. The code is Roxy James, and you can get 45% discount on print which is such a good deal and 10% off on frames and this is valid until the 12th of August. So I will have everything linked down below so you can go ahead and check it out. This is such a steal and I have been just really truly enjoying buying frames and making my space look absolutely beautiful. Something else on my single girl bucket list is to invest in myself, in my appearance in some way. And I don't want this to come across as being shallow or anything like that. I feel like if when you're single, you have this chance to reinvent yourself. So that is more or less the approach that I am taking to reinvent yourself and become a more fabulous version of yourself. One thing that I did was 
get new clothes. I got new clothes, I got new sleepwear, I got new loungewear, like what you see me wearing. I got new clothes to go out. I got so many new clothes to just reinvent my closet space and to just make me feel like a brand new person when I'm going out. Other things you can do is maybe get a hair makeover, maybe do your nails, maybe go for monthly massages, something else that you've never done before. I want to do something different to my hair, but honestly, like I am just so afraid of like dyeing my hair. I've never dyed my hair. I feel like if the only color I will dye it is if it's jet black. <laughs> I know so boring but I do want to like trim my edges I want to like really take care of myself and invest in my appearance and you know just do whatever makes me happy and whatever makes you happy something that I want to get is a tattoo I have one on my hand already but I want another one I feel like if that has been something that is on my mind and maybe you are feeling the same way whatever you want to do to yourself it's your body you have nobody who can tell you anything different you can really really just enjoy this time and space in your life and I'm really excited to see other ways that I reinvent myself as a single woman. <laughs> When you're single, you don't have to spend your money on anyone else except yourself, so why not? Why not spend that money on yourself? I feel like if that has been life-changing for me, something that I'm really, really excited about and happy about, especially since it's not something that I've ever done before. So something else on my bucket list is to host more in my space, in my new space that I'm creating. Every few weeks, I do a sip and color with my friends and we color and we just have such a good time, drinks and snacks and everything like that. It's really, really fun learning to host and be a good host and learning to entertain that has been something very high on my bucket list because I never lived on my own except for this year from January to now and living on my own has made me so excited about so many little things it's just been such a fun learning process so definitely like throw parties I had like a party for my cat in my apartment it was so much fun and now I'm doing like these sip and paints and I just can't wait to create different days to host different things for my friends and it really makes me feel so happy. I feel like if this is a great way to make use of your space and make use of your time and being single and just focusing on the people in your life who truly do love you and care about you and just want the best for you, there is no other better feeling than just chilling out with your friends with no worries in the world and just doing things that you guys love. Next up is to work out because there are literally no excuses and I feel like if this goes back to when I said in the beginning that this is a time for you to you know truly embrace being alone and being single and enjoy the waiting process before you get somebody else or before you want a partner in your life and working out is one of those ways that I am occupying my time I work out on evenings now and I love it I just do workouts online on YouTube from Pamela Reef I love her so much her workouts make me feel so confident in myself and it does not put any pressure on me because I'm working out by myself. I wear what I want to wear. I do what I want to do. There's nobody to look at me or judge me and it's just like a fun time for myself to show myself that this is what I want to do. I want to have like my ideal body. I want to like lose weight. I want to tone up. I want to look my best self and be my freaking best self. Even if your goal is not to lose weight or anything like that, even if it is to tone, whatever you want to do, you can set your own personal goals, but that is my goal to lose weight and just tone up. And honestly, there is nothing wrong with that revenge body concept. Let me just say, Khloe Kardashian literally set a trend there and I love that. I am so inspired by by that and I feel like if it's not like a revenge body I want or anything like that it's just like my best version of myself body that I want <laughs> Next up is to have a reading list. On my reading list, I did the whole entire A Court of Thorn and Roses series and I actually loved it so much. I have videos where I talked a little bit about it. I highly recommend that series because it's like adult fiction with magic and stuff like that if that is your vibe. I'm also reading 365, <laughs> the series, and I have like so many other books that you guys recommended for my reading list as well that is making me really excited. There is nothing like coming home one day and you have like your wine and you make some dinner for yourself and then you just cozy up in a nook and read a good book and you literally get to go into an entire new world which I love and you get to see new characters and meet new characters and new personalities and things that you probably would want in like a future partner or stuff like that it really just makes you aware to so many different types of personalities and I love that so much and I love reading because of that it just is a way to escape and it is something that I look forward to so that should be something on your list 
if you are having a single girl time and now is not the time to be reading things that make you cry and make you all weepy and stuff like that this is about fun and reading fun light reading just you know things to just make you happy and smile and just be all bubbly and fun next up is to cook new things for myself right now I'm going through a phase like I always love sushi and Japanese food but now living on my own I'm like okay wait why could I not try to do this myself so something that I've been making that I love is rice paper rolls I have been learning to make that and I'm loving it something else that I want to make obviously is how to make sushi rolls I have been loving exploring this new side of me and cooking new things for myself it is something fun and exciting to do and just romanticizing the entire process instead of being like oh great I have to cook for myself like how fun it is instead to have like a mindset shift and be like yes I get to cook for myself I get to eat whatever I want I can learn so many new things and that is the approach that I am taking because I never liked being in the kitchen and now that I'm there I love to make pretty food I did a what I eat in a day video where I did like really pretty food that you can make and eat that's healthy and nutritious and that is something that I am having so much fun doing you know there's so many things out there that you can try maybe if you eat meat maybe you want to make like a nice steak or maybe you want to make a nice cheese board or a cheese platter maybe something like that why not just go for it and do it and love it at the same time on the same theme with cooking for yourself something on my single girl bucket list is to learn to make pretty drinks i want to make drinks with rosé and gin and lavender syrup and rosemary and all these fun things even if you don't drink alcohol you can make really nice mocktails as well and those taste fabulous and i just feel like if that is such a fun thing that you can do i want to be like that girl who can make you a really good drink when you come over to visit. I just think that that is so much fun to be someone who can create some good drinks and entertain when people come over and you know make a fabulous cheese board have a beautiful space and I'm literally so excited for the season in my life because it is so new to me and I'm truly just pouring myself into myself and embracing this journey next up on my bucket list is to go out more and say yes to everything and if you have been watching my last few videos you guys have been seeing me every single month making efforts to go out I've been saying yes to more things invites girls limes dinners beach trips whatever it is I'm saying yes to it all and it has been fun so far and this is coming from somebody like myself who did not want to go out who never wanted to leave my apartment all of that but now I'm like yes to everything and this is how you can meet new people I'm not gonna meet new people by living in my apartment and right now I am NOT on any dating apps or anything like that so I have to meet people by going out I don't go out to intentionally meet people but I go out and I look fabulous in case I see somebody around <laughs> you know it's not gonna hurt to dress up which is why I like investing in your appearance and in yourself in your clothes you know doing things like that saying yes it's all tying in together because when you decide to say yes to go out you just never know like you literally never know and that is what is so exciting about this whole thing you never know where you can meet somebody or your future partner or just like meet new friends like you just don't know so I feel like if that is just a fun thing to do <laughs> next up is to get a hobby while you are single and living alone and you can choose whatever you want to do if you want to have a hobby as doing pool dancing like you can do it nobody's like stopping you if you want to do something like watercolor that is a fun hobby that you can do as well you don't have to answer to anybody you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do and i know i say this a lot but i do love that I'm still figuring out what hobby I want to do. I did crocheting one month, which was so much fun because I did like a cute bikini top for myself. You can literally Google list of hobbies to do and you can get so many ideas from there or take a class or something like that. Just do something. Last up on my bucket list is to volunteer. And I know this is like the most boring one out of all of them, but it is the one that will be so extremely rewarding to you, whether it be volunteering at an animal shelter to just feed animals animals or take care of them or volunteering at a home or a soup kitchen or just wherever volunteering really makes you feel so content with yourself because there's nothing like you know helping somebody else or helping an animal or something like that you feel like this sense of worth you feel like so worthy of yourself and it makes you so happy like you get this indescribable feeling of being happy when you really are doing something selfless and that is something that I've personally experienced in my whole world of now being 
into animals because I have my cats and taking care of her and taking care of cats and stuff like that I'm just like taking it on myself to do something like that and to volunteer so that I can help it makes me feel so good and it gives me that sense of worth like I told you guys it's just something that you can try if you are going through this season and you're not sure about what is going on I definitely recommend it because you can also meet people in this situation and you will feel such a good sense of self honestly so that is the end of my single girl aesthetic apartment decor romanticizing being single video and if you are going through a season of singleness I hope that these inspired you if you are having a hard time I hope that this inspired you to enjoy it and embrace it and look forward to it until you find your partner in life or if you choose to find a partner or whoever it may be whatever you decide to do it is your life and I really do hope that these made you excited for this season of your life or whatever it may be thumbs it up if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos like these don't forget to also subscribe because I have so much amazing lifestyle content coming your way that I can't wait for you to see and yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye Mwah.